You know, we want to win every week. I think whoever gets their opportunities, I think they'll be they'll be ready to take advantage of it. It's some personal time, those tackles. You know what I mean? Preston believe you're going to keep doing what we have to do to get back where you want to be. Let's go! Homecoming this weekend, excited about it. Uh, North Texas has got a very, very explosive offense. And trying to eliminate the explosive plays. And as a defense, that's one thing we try to do is just get the ball down. You know, guys are going to make plays. They're all on scholarship, too. And just getting the ball down is the biggest thing. The opportunity, like I said, opportunity to get better stack in the second day, second game. Tell on two, one, two. Game seven. Game seven. Everything you got, leave nothing out there. You got one game, one game, one game, one chance. Give everything you got. Mind, body, and soul. Every single play, it'll work out for us. Appreciate you. Buddy. After a couple weeks away, Tulane is back in the AP Top 25, and it coincides with homecoming 2023. The number 23 Tulane Green Wave back here no in New Orleans no against no Sabine Green. No doubt. It's about us. It's about the way, man. We put the on the table. to like the uh, brotherhood, like we're all in this together, you know, you know, we know who we're fighting for, we're fighting for each other. I feel like adversity is what we kind of look for. We are used to the underdog story, we've had it the whole time we've been here, so when things get tough, whether that be like in training, in practice, we have like a finished practice thing, and that just means like, you know, you got to get through the whole thing. You can't just stop three quarters in, and I think everybody understands that and kind of buys into it. Taking that one step, doing that one more to be great, we all 
taking that extra step, that extra leap, and we, you can actually see it. We're all more locked in, more investing to our craft. When I was born, I was a premature baby. Um, I had an anomia. Like, um, they had, they say, they say that um, it affects my hearing, you know. Okay, it affects my hearing real bad, you know. They say I got 50% of my other ear. I got 50% death in my right ear, 40% death in my left ear. My dad friend introduced me to football, you know, because my first sport was baseball, because my dad was a baseball star in high school. My dad friend said uh, he got to play football because he couldn't play baseball. So, <laughs> so my first position was an old lineman. In my middle school year, when I started to, you know, I started to work out more. You know, my big brother, he played basketball. I do, I do a lot of, like, quickness with my big brother. Playing football in Louisiana, it was very special, you know, because it got a lot of a lot of legends that play you know, football. Um, my my favorite my favorite Louisiana football player, you know, Glenn Dawson. You know what I'm talking about, Glenn Dawson. And I want to be bigger like him. You know, he played football at LSU. I, he inspired me to play, be like him. So my dad introduced me. He talked about me. He thought I played like him sometimes. You know. It's unusual. Usually we know about most guys their junior year. We didn't really know about Cam until his senior year. And he just got better and better and better as the year progressed, played great in the state championship game. I think my first impression just in terms of his situation was that it, it didn't, uh, it's a big deal, but it wasn't, wasn't a, a huge deal in terms of him playing football and progressing and going forward. My teammate, like, they gave me a hand signal, like, like, like for this week, we want to do this for this call, you know, in case in case something happened during the game, like check, you know. They, I said, okay, thank you. I'm blessed for that. I'm glad that my teammate look out for me. Cam is kind of like I said, he's a goofball. Um, he's always the guy wanting to make people laugh. Um, he'll he'll work really hard. Um, he wants to make sure that like he gets frustrated with himself a lot of times. He's kind of a perfectionist. He wants to do get the right calls, do the right things. There's barriers that he wants to break. And um, we really don't spend a lot of time, you know, um, talking about his actual circumstance. We progress um, in some ways as if it's not a thing. I learned that people are still gonna treat me the same like they treat other people. You know, cause when I came to college, I, I know I'm gonna be by myself in there, but I'm still, I'm still to be Talk to everybody because I don't know if people gonna. Cause I couldn't talk right, you know what I mean? I'm afraid people don't wanna talk to me because I am, I, you know. Like my first message, I don't talk to nobody. <laughs> I don't talk to nobody because I was nervous. That's the bigger lesson I learned that people, people, people still gonna talk, treat me the same, like right? not different, you know. I think it shows you you know, what being a part of a team can bring people. We call our meeting room the living room, you know, um, and you know, when you're, at, when you're at home and you're in the living room and you're with family and you, and, you know, we're a tight-knit group, then we should be able to have difficult conversations. Uh, we should, it should be real conversations that, that make us better. Uh, we talk a lot about being authentic. And so that's kind of the environment that we created is that, you know, we eat together, we, we go through the struggles together, we succeed together. You know my mentor, Pat, right? Pat Jensen, he my mentor, like, he, he, he made me work out with him in the summer, you know. I, I try to be like him sometimes, but, <laughs> He's a tremendous player. I mean, he, you know, 
he's got a bright, bright future here at Tulane. He's, he's big, he's fast, he's strong, he's quick. He told me he wants to be a doctor. So sometimes I joke with him, I call him Dr. Hamilton. In my plan, I have a football, I want to be a, a physical therapist with a doctor's degree. You know, I want to be a, a doctor, but still a physical therapist, because I want to help people. I want to help people that, that be hurt a lot and stuff. Because I grew up, I see a lot of people get hurt, you know, struggle, you know. But I want to help people with injuries, you know, because I've been injured myself. Like, like a lot of time, so I, I want to, I want to learn more, more about the body, like, with, like to help me out. We gotta hold each other accountable. Stick your chin up. Attitude, man. Winning is about attitude. Everybody understand that? All right. It ain't about pointing the finger. It's about us. It's about doing what we do. That's what it's about. It ain't easy. But we got to make sure we're doing everything that we can on and off the field to make sure that we can go out there and dominate. Because for the rest of the season, that's what we're trying to do. And it ain't easy. And it ain't easy. We can go out there and just be okay. We're good enough to go out there and just be okay. All right? But we want to dominate. We back at it. We back at it. Here we go good. Big dude. Oh. Hey, technique and fundamentals. Technique and fundamentals. One more. One more. Yeah! Don't hit mitts unless you're ready to work. Pop the hips. Let's go. Oh, hips, legs, lower back. Let's go. One more, dog. One more. Everybody understand? It's all about us. We, we don't, again, I said this last week, we don't have an identity crisis. We know our purpose. Our purpose is to go 1-0 and every week. It don't matter the circumstances. Don't matter where we play. Don't matter who we play. Don't matter if it's 100,000. Don't matter if it's 10 people there. It don't matter if they want to scrimmage us on a Wednesday. We know that we want to go 1-0. and I just want to talk to you about one last thing, man, and that's the power of one more. The power of one more. Okay, at, at 211 degrees, all right, you get hot water. At 212, the water is boiling. One more, at 212, the water is boiling. And with boiling water, all right, you get steam. With steam, all right, you can move a damn train. Today, the two-lane green wave, six and one on the season, three and zero oh in the American, and ranked number 22 in the nation. Reignite their old rivalry with the Rice Owls, four and three on the year, two and one in the AAC. We was made for this. It's a dog fight. It's what we was made for, baby. Introduce them to your preparation. Oh. Oh. sideline to the 40 and rumbles into the 35. The kick end over and wins gonna push this one a little bit but he's able to sail it clean through the upright. Takes the snap, three man rush for the way, right side and it's batted away, nearly picked off. Four man rush for the outs, here it comes throwing on the run. Oh, it's a man wide open, he strikes it in the 40, does the tackle and a running ladder. Now with pressure coming, fires deep left side to the end zone, it is Brown! And he's got it for the touchdown!
Glover holds, kick is up, end over end, sailing towards the upright, and good! Yes! Take the snap on the draw, running right, fights for the five, falls forward, first down! Bump the bump the body! Bump the party now, bump the bump the body! Why? A win is a win, and we gritty. It don't matter how we get it, as long as we get it. It's one and no mentality, and they can't stop us. It's up here, it's ingrained in us, it's in our blood. You are, I'm always locked in on going one and oh, one and oh, one and oh, one and oh, and all that stuff, right? They've been playing football here, I believe, this is 127 years they've been playing football. This is the most consecutive road wins in the history of the school. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we always been told they're on scholarship too, so they're going to play hard, but one thing about this team, like, we, we're going to keep fighting to the end, we're going to give it all we got, we're going to keep clawing and everything, so. That's the great thing about this team, though. It's tough situations, you know, everybody just coming together, you know, but, um, bring each other in the huddle, you know, hey, man, it's, it's that time, let's finish. Like, like this this what we work for, you know. Hey, don't give up, you know, it's not the end, always finish the whole fourth quarter. That's what we got that monster, that's what we, uh, that's what we do. Got my guy Brandon right here. What up? Brandon, say what's up to the camera. What up to the camera? What is one thing that you're thankful for since you've been there too long? Uh, my time with Quan. Not just me. You the best, man. I know, I appreciate that, but um, the answer can't be me. The students. Students? Yeah, all my students. Oh, I had like 90 of them. No, not you, Casey. Tennessee. Holiday season, we're going bowling, baby. TV.